Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carloop. Data to empower Australia's EV revolution. Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're doing a walkthrough of software update 2024.26.7 here in our Tesla Model Y in Sydney, Australia. But before we do that, I'm going to do a shameless plug for a product from Joa. And here it is. This is the Joa uh, storage bin, which obviously fits very well into the uh, storage bin of the Tesla Model Y and Model 3. And it comes out like this, made from very good siliconized rubber, like that. Very deep storage. Let's have a look how deep it is. So, have a look inside here. My whole hand can fit in there. And, uh, yep, got some grip down the bottom as well. And uh, also comes with Velcro, which you can stick anywhere. And also, if you have a gel uh, hook like this, then you can hook it on to it. And it can act as a little bin right there for the passenger side. Obviously, if you have two, you can put one on the passenger side door bin as well. Why not buy four? One for each uh, door of the car. So thank you, Joa, for sending me these products. A coupon code TeslaTom5 on the Joa website for 5% off store-wide, including these new bins. Okay, so let's get on with the walkthrough of the new software update. And if there's anything new uh, in the update, it'll show up as new or little dot in the infotainment screen. So little dot there, little dot there, and then new uh, safety dot as well. So that's nice to know. So let's go through the uh, release notes right now before we walk through them. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, 2024.26.7. Uh, technically speaking, the new features are in 2024.26.3.1, but we'll go through it anyway because I haven't done this yet. So we've got YouTube Music. Uh, listen to over 100 million songs ad-free with your YouTube Premium or Music Premium account. It requires premium connectivity or an active Wi-Fi connection. So that's very important to know. Uh, Amazon Music, same thing. Prime members get access to over 100 million songs in shuffle mode, blah, blah, blah. Upgrade to Amazon Music Unlimited for full on-demand access. Requires premium connectivity or an active Wi-Fi connection. Starting to see a theme here for premium connectivity, which is $9.99 a month here in Australia. Castle Doom Bad Classic. So there's a new game for you guys. Access in arcade Castle Doom Bad Classic. Parental controls, you can now enable parental controls with a pin on your vehicle. Set a maximum speed limit and limit acceleration to chill. Turn on safety features such as speed limit warning, automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning. Configure night curfew to receive notifications through your Tesla mobile app when the vehicle is driven past curfew. Uh, yeah, you should be home by now. Enable parental controls from the vehicle or the Tesla mobile app. Navigate to controls, safety, parental controls, follow the instructions on screen and provide a pin. Drivers can't disable the controls or change the settings without re-entering the pin. Mm. Okay, well that's good for young drivers. Navigate to sub-destinations. Now when you enter a navigation destination, you can now select a sub-destination, such as a specific terminal at the airport, to get more accurate routing details. We'll go through that one. Weather forecast and air quality. Your vehicle status bar now shows the local weather conditions. There you go. Alongside the temperature. When air quality is poor, your vehicle also shows an AQI symbol and index value. Tap the temperature on your touchscreen to see details about your local weather forecast, such as the weather condition, highs and lows of the day, and chance of rain requires premium connectivity. Interesting. Schedule charge and preconditioning. From the redesign menu or the Tesla mobile app, schedule charging or preconditioning for your vehicle. You can select a location, schedule one-off repeat specific times or days of the week, and also control when charging times start and stop. To schedule your charge and precondition tap controls schedule. This requires mobile app version 4.34.5, so make sure you update your apps as well. Security improvements, yes, and other updates we go. Good to, that Tesla now actually give you all the little minor updates which they never used to previously. Uh, Battle of Polytopia skin update, great. Vampire Survivors, yep, update as well. Redesigned climate panel uh, allows you to select your comfort settings with ease. When in auto, the fan speed may now automatically lower to reduce the sound of ambient noise during a phone call. That's good. Zoom meetings now default to full screen when your car is in park. Excellent. And control search now uh, surfaces climate-related features and navigation when searching for an address. Hmm. Okay, good to know. All right, well, let's go through each one. So YouTube Music, let's have a look. So um, that would be here somewhere. YouTube Music, there we go. Let's have a look. So sign in with your Google account. Let's have a look. Okay, so I don't have a YouTube premium account, so that's what it needs to sign in properly. So yeah, check that out for yourselves. Okay, so let's check out Amazon Prime. Music, rather. Okay, so we're all signed in into my Amazon account. 
And this is one other alternative to Spotify music. Don't judge me, this is what turned up when I signed in. Okay, so we've got Castle Doom Bad Classic. I won't play that obviously, but uh, if you want to access it, you go to uh, Theatre, I think. Uh, or oh, okay, no, Arcade, sorry, missed that. So Arcade, and there you go, Castle Doom Bad Classic. You, um, one player, installed size is 109 megabytes, so not too big. Okay, next is Parental Controls, let's have a look. So navigate to controls, safety, parental controls. So controls, safety, that's a new one. Uh, and uh, parental controls down here. So let's turn that on. So there are other things you can do. Uh, limit speed, reduce acceleration, require safety features, send curfew notifications to the app. Done. So I'm gonna turn it off because I don't have any kids that can drive just yet. Okay, so I'm just updating my Tesla app just to get those features as well. And make sure you um, don't just have a look to see whether it's updated. You've actually got to go into the uh, app menu or the app uh, window and it'll say update if you need to update. So just something to note there. So what I mean is if you you know go to just search for Tesla, it'll normally just say open, right? You actually got to go into it and it will say update if you need to update. Okay, so if you go to security and drivers in the updated app, then you can uh, go to parental controls and uh, same thing. You can turn that on and then set your four digit pin and it'll be the same thing as um, the parental controls up here, those same four options. Okay, let's keep going. So navigate to sub destinations. So I guess the most obvious one would be to navigate to the airport. So let's do that. So have a look at this. So I've typed in Sydney airport into the navigation screen and you can now choose all the sub menus. So sub destinations like international arrivals, departures, domestic terminal departures, and then you can view more as well. So that is actually pretty handy. All right, next one is weather forecast and air quality. So I can already see it up here, the little uh, sun icon. So if I push that, so Forestville, New South Wales, which is where I'm currently parked, you can see, there you go, all the uh, forecast for the times ahead today, which is fantastic. All sunny, love it, love blue sky. Chance of rain, 0%, humidity, 55%, wind, uh, UV index, and then air quality is good as well. So that's good. It's a beautiful day here in Sydney. Okay, so this next one I'm looking forward to, which is schedule charge and preconditioning. So previously, if you wanted to schedule a charge, let me just show you, go to charging. Uh, all you could do was just, you know, charge um, schedule just for the one time, right? So just like, you know, a generic, whatever, 10 to five, you can just do it one once off. But now you can actually set a schedule for the location. There you go, home, work, wherever. Um, and you can also set, charge times for different times of the day, which is really good. So you can now start and end um, at every different day and it weekly as well. So you might say, well, my charger already has that option, my generic, you know, um, AC charger at home, which is great for you. But uh, the current Tesla Gen 3 wall connector is pretty basic, doesn't have these functions. So it's good that the uh, car now can do that for you. Um, look, it's, it's probably a feature that's been a long time coming. A lot of EVs are reviewed now that are not Teslas have this function already. So look, Tesla late to the game, but better late than never. And now this is an option. And also for preconditioning as well, you can do the same thing. Okay, so that's that one. And then security improvements. And then lastly, uh, other updates. So game, game, uh, redesign climate panel. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so I guess that's slightly different. Yes, I can see all the stuff down here is now different. Seat heating, um, and then steering wheel heating, uh, windscreen heating. Um, and then demisters. Oh, windscreen heating. Is that new? I don't recall seeing that previously. Um, and then recirculate, or just automatic, and then by defense mode as well. And the rear looks very similar. Okay, so that's basically it. A uh, quick run through of the software update for, well, technically 2024.26.3.1 but we're up to now 26.7 in this car, so that is fantastic. Thank you, Tesla, for another over-the-air software update. Alrighty, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, that's a run-through of the latest software update for our Tesla Model Y here in Sydney, Australia. And don't forget to check out Jawa as well for those door bins and other accessories, a very well-made uh, accessories from Taiwan, and a coupon code, uh, TeslaTom5, for 5% off the Jawa website store-wide. Thanks so much, until next time, happy charging, everyone.